In this video, I want to do a couple examples with impulse. So, before, what we know is that uh, forces over time lead to changes in momentum. And in sort of 1D, this was described by this change in momentum, delta P, final momentum minus the initial, is equal to the integral from T initial to T final of the net force on the object uh, over time. So let's, so first I'm going to do a simple sort of kinematics example using the forces and uh, that we've learned before, but do it in this language of uh, momentum and impulse. It's this quantity right here, which is called the impulse. Okay, so let's bring in our favorite objects to work with our block. This is going to be a 50 kilogram block, and I'm going to push on it with a 150 Newton force. We saying the coefficient of static friction between the ground and the block is 0 0.2. Uh, if we that if we do a free body diagram on this object, there's a normal force and the force due to gravity, which are equal in magnitude, and so this tells us that then there's going to be the force due to friction. So the normal force then if is equal to 500 newtons in the convenient case where we're saying the acceleration due to gravity is 10. The force due to friction, the magnitude of the force due to friction then, which is points in the opposite direction of, of uh, how I'm pushing, let's get a coordinate system here, plus x, plus x in that direction then is equal to 100 newtons, 500 times 0 0.2, 100 newtons, and it's in the negative x direction. And so our, our net force then is going to be a positive 50 newtons. So let's say I'm pushing on this uh, box with 150 newton force for 5 seconds. How, what does that mean in terms of impulse and its change in momentum? Okay. So, well, we found the net force, which is 50 newtons, and so then the impulse is then the integral. I'm pushing on it from 5 seconds, so I'm going to say my initial time is 0, my final time is 5. The force, which is a constant 50 newtons times dt. Well, the 50 newtons is a constant, so it comes out, and I get 0 to 5 dt, which is just the time interval, 50 newtons delta t, which is uh, 250. Now, this, this, is, this is in seconds. Newtons is kilograms meters per second squared, so this is kilograms meters per second which is a unit of momentum. Momentum doesn't have its own name for its unit, it's just kilograms, meters per second. Okay, and so then, so that's the impulse, so that leads to a change in momentum, so the change in momentum then is 250 kilograms, meters per second. This is equal to then the final momentum minus the initial momentum. If we say, well, it started at rest, this is equal to zero, and so our final momentum is equal to 200. This is leads to final momentum, 250 kilograms, meters per second, and then I could find the final velocity, which is the momentum over the mass, then would be five meters per second, and this is in the positive x direction. And so, before, we could find the net force on the object, and from that we could calculate the acceleration, and from the acceleration over time we could come up with the final velocity. It's about the same amount of math, and we'd get the same answer. 
And so this is the exact same type of problem, only in this case we're looking at it in the language of impulse and momentum.